Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys Secret Base figure preview video. Before we begin, I do have to say a huge thank you to Ryan Kirkwood for going out in person and snapping these stunning high-res pics. Show Ryan some love in the comments below, without him this series literally wouldn't be possible. If you are looking to pre-order Darth Sidious, he is available from ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below. They have pay in four plus a loyalty program. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon and join button. So you're notified as soon as a brand new review or figure preview video goes live on the channel. This was a surprise, but a welcome one. I'm all for the Emperor. Although, okay, I do have to admit this is not the Emperor. This is based off his look in the Clone Wars. I will try my best not to call him the Emperor if I slip up in this video. I'm so sorry. Okay, from here on out, Darth Sidious, or Sheev Palpatine. This being the Clone Wars look, a very interesting choice for Hot Toys. Why did they not go with Revenge of the Sith? I don't know. Maybe because the 20th anniversary of the Clone Wars is still in full effect. They wanted to take advantage of that anniversary and make a Palpatine. I am not complaining. I am so freaking happy this thing is real. It looks awesome. Starting off with his accessories, you get hands. Of course you do. You need hands for Papa Palps. Dude, these lightning effect hands, they are ace. I am so excited to display my Darth Sidious with them. Why am I so enamored with them? Well, if you think back to the lightning effects that came with Return of the Jedi Emperor... They were terrible, they were way too long, very flimsy, they just couldn't hold their own weight. Whereas this, having just a trickle of lightning coming out of his fingers, like he's about to start zapping someone, 100% the way to go. Then the fingers being slightly translucent, and the darker blue shading on the end, oh, chef's kiss, they are very well done. Something else that's well done, you get multiple different lightsaber hilts. You get the normal ones, and you get the USB ones. That's right, two USB-powered lightsabers and swooshing blade effects. Unfortunately, the blades are kind of pink more than red. Hot Toys, stop that. Make the blades the right color. Blue should be an actual vibrant blue, and red should actually be a vibrant red. Now, this head sculpt, moving eyes, thank you Hot Toys, it was sculpted by Yixi. Yixi does amazing work. They did the Cobb Vanth head sculpt, and they've been doing great work with third-party companies as well. Remember when we first saw this display base? It wasn't that long ago, with Return of the Jedi Vader and Return of the Jedi C-3PO, the anniversary versions. I said in those preview videos, it's too good not to reuse. I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Surprise, or should I say, not surprise, here it is again. It looks great with Emperor, sorry. Darth Sidious. This is based off his Clone Wars look. He is wearing pleather boots. Don't love that. Hot toys. No more pleather. You can do better. His robes, they are different to Revenge of the Sith. I did see some comments online people weren't happy. They were saying, hey, why did they not make them look more like Revenge of the Sith? If Hot Toys are taking creative license anyway, which they are, they're translating an animated look into a live action look. Why not just make it look like the actual live-action source material? Isn't that what Clone Wars was based off in the first place? Kind of? I'm actually okay with this. This leaves room for another version of Palpatine. This head sculpt is also just normal Sheev Palpatine. He's not disfigured. He hasn't been zapped by his own Force Lightning, courtesy of Mace Windu. Going for a body as skinny as this one is, it almost leans even more towards the animated aesthetic. This make no mistake, is a super calculated move by Hot Toys. They have left that Revenge of the Sith door all the way open. In the future, we will see a Revenge of the Sith Emperor. How long that will be? No idea. It could be months, or it could be years. So, if you are in market for a Darth Sidious, and you love Clone Wars like a lot of people do, you could do a hell of a lot worse than this guy. Then, the other reason why this is very Clone Wars specific is the colour scheme for the robes. Going for a dark maroon and a navy blue, nowhere near how he looked in live action. The robes did have a subtle, very subtle tint to them. Nowhere near as drastic as this. And the pinstripes and then the blue shawl thing, 
It was just straight up black velvet in Revenge of the Sith. This is a very different look for Darth Sidious. Hey, look, if this isn't for you, this is too striking of a colour palette, he's too skinny, he's too Clone Wars specific, that's actually fine. Not every figure is for every collector. There are figures out there that I literally could not care less about. This doesn't have to make its way into your collection. Just don't shit on it. Don't give it that Revenge of the Sith stank. If that's the one you were hoping for, just chill. It is going to happen. Let people enjoy this. If you're a fan of the Clone Wars, if you grew up watching the Clone Wars, chances are this is your version of Darth Sidious and you are so freaking excited to put him in the collection. Clone Wars fans, I'm with you on this. I cannot wait to get this guy. He's getting a center spot in my animated verse display. Alongside Clone Wars Anakin and Clone Wars Obi-Wan and Ahsoka and clones. Gotta have clones in there. Plus the Bad Batch and, of course, Clone Wars Maul. That scene where they battled with Emperor Palps. Oh my god, sorry, I did it again. Darth Sidious with his dual lightsabers. He kicked some serious butt. This is also our first prequel version of Darth Sidious. That cheeky little grin, the wrinkles, the skin texture, the moving eyes. It all comes together really beautifully. That hood being wired. Sorry, no, scratch that. The entire robe being wired. That is a very important detail that I'm glad Hot Toys got right. If it wasn't wired, you could never have accomplished this particular shape with the hood. You want it coming down just over the bridge of his nose, so you're hiding the eyes, exposing that creepy little grin. This, or oh, it is going to be one creepy looking figure. And if you wanted to, if you have the old school, the very, very old school Sideshow Emperor 2 pack from Revenge of the Sith with the actual robes from that movie. If you want an accurate Revenge of the Sith Emperor, minus the disfigured face, you could take this body, this head sculpt, and pop it in those robes. After, of course, you've thrown out those nasty old shitty Sideshow bodies. Or you could take the red senate robes, still use this body, and use this head sculpt to create a Sheev Palpatine. That's the combo I'm excited to try out. I have had that two-pack for years, and I have been waiting very patiently to give it a go. I will when this guy eventually comes out in the review. I pre-ordered mine with ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below. They have pay in four plus a loyalty program. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon, and join button. If you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.